Good day students. Today we are going to start chapter 7. It's all about fractions. Let's start with 7.1 understanding fractions. Let's start with question 1. Take the shapes which are half shaded. So only those which are equally half will be in this category and not just two parts. According to this only 3 and 5 are half shaded and the rest of are only two parts but they are not half. Moving on question number 2. It's a number line. Let's understand a little bit about fractions. The upper part is called a denominator and the lower part is called a denominator. The denominator represents total parts of a fraction divided into while the numerator represents the number of selected parts. Let's see our question. Now we have four parts so we'll write four as a denominator because total parts are four. So everywhere there will be four as a denominator. Now we have four parts 1, 2, 3, 4. So we'll write the numbers according to it because we have can simplify 2 upon 4 as 1 upon 2. That's why they have written 1 upon 2. And 4 upon 4 can be simplified as 1. And the blank there will be considered as third part. And total fractions are 4. So we'll write 3 upon 4. That's it. Next question we are given three different fractions whose numerator is same but the denominators are different. So, and we are asked which fraction is greater. It looks quite difficult, but there is one single way to find out which fraction is greater and which one is smaller to make a same denominator. How can we find a same denominator? We will write the multiples of all three numbers and the first common multiple will be taken like this. 6, 12, 18 and uh, these are first three multiples of 6. Now 3, 6, 9 and 12. These are first four multiples of 3 and 4, 8 and 12. We find that 12 is a common multiple of all three numbers. So we need to use 12 as our denominator. How can we use 12? We will uh, we'll multiply every number by, uh, by times to make a 12. So 6 times 2 is 12. So we will multiply our first denominator and numerator by 2. And 3 times 4 is 12. So we will multiply our second fraction with number 4. And 4 times 3 is 12, so we'll multiply our third fraction with 3. Now 2 times 6 is a, 2 upon 6 becomes 4 upon 12. 3, 2 upon 3 becomes 8 upon 12. And 2 upon 4 becomes 6 upon 12. Now it becomes very easy to understand which one is greater and which one is smaller. So 2 upon 4 which is basically 6 upon 12 is greater than 4 upon 12. So we will write 2 upon 4 is greater than 2 upon 6. And 2 upon 4 is less than 2 upon 4 again 6 upon 12 is less than 8 upon 12. So the given number eight for 8 upon 12 is 2 upon 3. So 2 upon 4 is less than 2 upon 3. Now we have to write the fractions in order starting from the smallest. So we will write first 2 upon 6, then 2 upon 4, and then 2 upon 3. In question number 4, we have to select shapes which have been divided into quarters. Quarters means 4 parts and divided into 4 parts means they should be symmetrical, identical, equal. So, let's see which parts are symmetrical. A is not looking equal parts but B is looking fine. All parts are equal. Again, C is not an equal distribution of fractions. D is also not equal, an equal distribution of fractions. We can see E has also equal parts, so we will select B and E. In question number 5, we have a jug of water and we have to decide what fraction has water in the jug. So we have 4 parts, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So the denominator will be 4 of course and we have 1, 2, 3 parts of water. So we will write 3 upon 4 as our fraction. How much water does Zina need? So how much fraction is empty? So we have total 4 of fractions. So we will write... 4 as a denominator again and only one part is empty so we'll write that one part as 1 upon 4. Now look at this number wall at every step there are different number of blocks at first step there is only one block second has two blocks so we'll write 1 upon 2 and 
third has three blocks so every fraction will be 1 upon 3 similarly at fourth we will write 1 upon 4 and if all blocks then they have six parts so we'll write 1 upon 6 in each part <coughs> and lastly it has 12 parts so we'll write 1 upon 12 as each part now again we are asked which one is greater which one is smaller so you can see that 1 upon 4 looks bigger than 1 upon 6 and 1 upon 6 is looking bigger than 1 upon 12 so we can say 1 upon 4 is greater than 1 upon 6 and 1 upon 6 is greater than 1 upon 12 now what we have to see two parts from 12 parts so and two parts from six parts so two parts from six parts looks like this and two parts from six parts look the uh, 12 parts look like this so you can see which one is bigger so 2 upon 6 is definitely bigger than 2 upon 12 because 2 upon 12 is very small and 2 upon 6 is bigger so 2 upon 12 is less than 2 upon 6 now let's consider 2 third and 2 12 which one looks better uh, bigger of course 2 third is greater than 2 upon 12 so we'll write 2 third greater than 2 upon 12 question number seven we need to color the shapes according to the fraction so we know how to make an equivalent fraction if you have greater number of boxes you will multiply the fraction with that number or if you have lesser number of like uh, boxes you will just divide that number to make your denominator equal to the number of boxes you have to make your denominator equal to the number of boxes and this is the way i colored my all the shapes according to the fractions now next question they have asked us one more thing you have to consider all boxes if a box is representing half you will add another half box and count it as one box and if a box is considered as one quarter you will see where is the one quarter taken from any other box if any box is missing that quarter part you will join them and count it as one box see in picture number e i have counted two boxes as one and later two boxes as two because they are showing half so i have counted them as one uh, up box and one down box when i counted them all they are total number of seven boxes and i have given a fraction of nine upon 14 so i divide my fraction with number two from both sides the denominator and the denominator by two i'll divide the fraction with two and i get seven at down so equal number of boxes and when i divide nine by two i get 4.5 it means i have to color four and half box to make my fraction so i colored four boxes and how and half part of one box in next part they are asked what is the similarity between fg h uh, g and h so they are although they are different in numbers like 2 upon 3 4 upon 6 and 8 upon 12 but they are equivalent fractions and they are showing equalized shaded parts next question is again a number line so let's see how many parts are there there are five parts and b is coming between one and two so b is representing 1.5 of five parts and because a is representing four so a will be 4.4 4 upon 5 we are starting exercise 7.2 fractions as operators now you have 15 counters and you need to find out 1 upon 5 of 15 so 15 is divided uh, multiplying by 1 and dividing by 5 5 times 1 is 5 and 5 times 3 is 15 so 1 times 3 is 3 so 1 upon 5 of 15 is 3 counters similarly 1 6 of 24 is 4 question 3 is easy you can do it yourself you can see the solution Again in question number 4 you are asked what is 1 4 5th of 40 so it's 8 dollars so he spent 8 dollar on shopping trip. Question number 5 1 upon 7 of 56 means 56 is dividing by 7 and you will get 8 parts. Ok Jamil has 16 cards he gives a quarter to his friend. So first thing you need to find out that what is 1 4th of 16. Ok. Next thing is how many cards has Jamil got left. So when you find out 1 4 of 16 and then you will subtract it from 16 
then you will get to know that how many cards has got left with Jamil. So first we will find out 1, 4 of 16. 4 times 1 is 4 and 4 times 4 is 16. So Jamil has given 4 cards to his friend. That is very clear. Now 16 minus 4 is 12. So he got 12 cards left with him. Okay. In question number 8, every number is 1 fourth of another number. 1 fourth of 5 and 2 is 1 to 8. 1 fourth of 1 to 8 is 32. And 1 fourth of 32 is 8. So our fourth number in this sequence will be 8. Question number 9, we need to find out the odd one out. And when we solve them, we need 3 answers as 2 and 1 answer is 3. So of course, 1 upon 5 is the odd one out because its answer is 3 we have given different number of fractions and we have 12 boxes in our rectangle so first we'll simplify how many boxes will be colored we use different colors so you can easily recognize half as brown then one fourth of this rectangle is pink and one sixth are two parts of this rectangle so we'll call we have colored two boxes as purple color and then one twelve means only one part which is orange color and no part is overlapping another part in question number 11 they have said 20 balloons there are 20 balloons out of which one fourth are red so let's find out how many balloons are red five balloons are red so how many balloons are not red 20 minus 5 is equals to 15 so 15 balloons are not red in question number 12 a packet of colored beads has five orange beads five red beads and 10 blue beads half beads are blue how can we find out we'll sum all the beads like five orange plus five red and five tenth blue all together 20 so half of 20 is one half of 20 is 10 so we already have 10 blue beads it means she is correct half of the beads are blue now we have to continue the pattern and the pattern has one fourth of something so we will write one fourth in every place and when we see if there are multiples of four so we'll continue that multiples 4 8 12 16 20 and 24 so 4 of 4 16 is 4 4 of 20 is 5 and 4 of 24 is 6 in this question we have two parts one third of 30 and one two of something so one third of 30 is 10 and we need one half of something which is equally 10 so half of 20 is 10 we'll write 20 in this box in this way we have 10 on both sides in this question Hassan is saying that one third of 36 is greater than one fourth of 60 when we find out we said came to know that one third of 36 is 12 dollar and one fourth of 60 is 15 dollars so Hassan is wrong because one fourth of 60 is greater than one third of 36 Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. If you have any question, you can always comment. Bye-bye.